Hello, hello, my friends. More reviews for you today. We have Country Candles Strawberry Lemonade. Now, if you have been following me this week, I have been doing some post burn reviews on a couple of the new fragrances that will be part of Kringle Candles Spring and Summer Launch that will be happening this Friday, March 1st at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this is review number five for me. If you have not caught some of my previous reviews, I will have them linked in the description box down below. I have already reviewed Bananas Foster, Ice Cream Sandwiches, Cake Pops, Charred Pineapple, and now Strawberry Lemonade. And spoiler alert, I'm a little bit optimistic that I just might be able to get one more fragrance review in before the launch. I can't make any promises, but it's looking kind of optimistic at this point that I might be able to get another one in for you. All right, before we get into the meat of this candle review, I do want to give the full disclosure that this candle was sent to me from Kringle Candle. I am a brand ambassador with them. I do have a discount code. It's Katie15. I'll remind you guys about that at the end of this video um, that does save 15% off of your purchases at Kringle Candle. But let's go ahead and talk about this fragrance. So Country Candle Strawberry lemonade. Now, if you remember last summer, uh, when they initially were starting to come out with some of their new three wick designs, those 14 and a half ounce jars, uh, they did have a fragrance called strawberry lemonade. And when I initially smelled this on cold sniff, I thought, okay, yeah, this kind of smells like the same fragrance. Um, but as it's burning, uh, I don't think it's the exact same. I think they've made some tweaks. I think the base is probably the same, but they've made some tweaks to this formula and we will talk about that. So this candle that you are looking at right now is the large apothecary style jar. This candle retails for $31. There is also a medium sized jar like this style. There is also the, uh, what is it? The paraffin, it's like a paraffin wax blend version of the daylight and the wax melt. So I always tell everybody, if you are really unsure about a fragrance, like maybe you're intrigued about it based off of reviews, but you're not really certain if you will be liking that fragrance, I always would say default to possibly getting one of those daylights or wax melts to just give you an idea of what the fragrance is before you invest in a full size candle, or maybe just wait for one of these to go on like a really deep discount in a few months, and then you can can always pick it up then. But if you are somebody who loves um, lemonade fragrances or yeah, you, you might want to stay tuned for this. All right. So the fragrance notes that are listed here for strawberry lemonade are top notes of orange peel, apple, lemon, mid notes of almond, caramel, verbena, base notes of vanilla, raspberry, woody, violet. So it's funny. There's actually no strawberry listed in here. What does my nose? Okay. My, what does my nose, what does my nose smell? You guys can tell I've already been talking a lot today and words are sometimes hard for me. All right, my nose definitely picks up citrus. Um, now I wouldn't look at this candle and say like, oh, this is a complete citrus candle because I do detect a berry note in the background, but it's definitely a citrus forward type of fragrance, very sugared citrus, a la a lemonade type of fragrance. That orange peel and lemon are definitely, I think, pretty well balanced in here because my nose doesn't quite detect, like certain fragrances you're like, oh, that's an orange, or that's definitely lemon, or that's definitely lime. But in here, it it it's very balanced because it's not, um, overtly lemon to me, but it's not overtly orange. I, I feel like it's, it's right in the middle between both of those. And it's definitely a sugared lemonade type of scent to me. As far as the mid notes that are based, that are in there, um, probably the verbena might be in there because that is like a citrus fruit. Um, but the almond and the caramel, I don't really get that in here. Now, base notes of vanilla, raspberry, woody, and violet. I don't know if it's supposed to be woody violet or if it's like woody and they missed the comma violet. You guys, punctuation is important. Um, 
So, okay, so like I said, this is very much a citrus forward, a lemonade forward type of fragrance, but there is a berry note in the background. Now, it's interesting that they list raspberry because I don't really smell raspberry. Now, strawberry is a type of fragrance that, especially when it's used in a lot of home fragrance, it it's often a very artificial strawberry. Um, this is not a juicy strawberry fragrance. It's not like a green stem strawberry fragrance that we had, say, in the Reserve candle last year. What was that? The um, I think it was just called Juicy Strawberry. Um, it's a very different fragrance note than that. This is kind of like your candied berry, uh, candied strawberry type of fragrance. But again, it's in the background of this scent. I still would stand by that this is like a berry lemonade type of fragrance. I like it. I enjoy it. Um, it's one that I think is quite versatile with a lot of other fragrances that are currently in my collection. And it definitely reminds me of summertime. So I think that aspect of it is really nice. But if you're you're hoping that this is a strawberry forward fragrance I would say it's not all right let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this candle so something that I've touched on in the last two reviews both when I talked about cake pops and the charred pineapple is that Kringle Candle did listen to our feedback in terms of the wicks and some of the issues we were having last year with the wicks being a little too uh, hot and uh, they were forming these like carbon balls and it, the jar was getting sooty. I am very happy to tell you guys that uh, it looks like they have made some improvements on this. Now, something that I failed to mention in the charred pineapple review, but I did mention it in the cake pops review. I, you know, I finished the pineapple re review and I thought, oh, I forgot to mention that. So with these new wicks, one of the things that I will caution you is that the first burn, I would say that they take quite a while to pull out on that initial burn. Um, don't be surprised if you don't really start smelling things throwing for at least a good hour and a half, almost two hours, um, because they just take their time pooling on that initial burn. Now, subsequent burns have been no problem for me. If you are somebody who maybe wants to achieve a quicker pull out, I would highly suggest burning these for the first time in a hurricane. Um, I know I've touched on this in other reviews, but a hurricane is really um, a candle investment. If you are somebody who really enjoys your home fragrance, you can find hurricanes at discount retailers like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods for under $10. And um, I think that they just, they can really enhance your candle's performance. Um, do candle, should candles have to use one? No, they should not. But I think that they're a good little um, product to have in your home fragrance arsenal um, if you are somebody who just wants to take it up a notch. Anyways, um, this does take a little while to pull out on initial burn, but other burns afterwards have been um, a lot easier for me to achieve that wax pull. This candle at the time that you're watching this has been lit for approximately four and a half hours. I did burn this candle for about six hours yesterday. This is actually my fifth burn of it, so I burned it prior to that. But just to let you guys know, you can let these ones go a little bit longer without the wax or the jar getting sooty and nasty. Um, strength and throw on this candle. I would give this one about... Mm, I want to say it's as good as the charred pineapple. I'm going to say it's in that six and a half, seven uh, without a hurricane. Now, again, you know, I feel like I feel so repetitive, you guys. I filmed so I filmed so many of these reviews this week that I feel like I'm just like on repeat here. But I'm always aware that not everybody watches every single one of my reviews, and some of you guys might be completely new to my channel. So I do like to give specifics of the layout of my home and um, temperature and stuff because that is very helpful. So here we go with the drill. My home is approximately 1,800 square feet. It is a single story. It's about 20 years old. I have an open concept living room to the kitchen, 20 foot high ceilings in the living room, more closed concept uh, in the bedroom, um, lower ceilings in there as well. Um, I do move my candle around in different locations in my home, so I'm going to give it a seven based on how it performs in my living room, um, in the open concept, as well as in my bedroom. When I burn this candle in my bedroom, it completely fills up the room, also throws well into the ensuite master bathroom. Um, it's definitely a room filler. If you have an apartment or if you have a home that is a home that has lower ceilings, smaller, more closed concept, this candle will definitely fill a bedroom no problem at all for you but if you have a larger home um, that has higher ceilings uh, just just know that it might um, 
it, you might not smell it as well. You can definitely detect it for sure. It's not like unnoticeable. I, it's definitely like a medium high strength and throw in my opinion. Um, the weather here has also been pretty warm um, compar comparatively to a lot of other places in the nation. I do live in Arizona. Currently, we've been having weather in the low 70s. So my windows are open as well. That's another thing that I always like to throw in there. Sometimes when you have fresh air circulating throughout the home, that can actually either increase your strength and throw, or if it's like too windy, then it could uh, decrease the, the strength and throw. But um, yeah, I'm going to give this one a solid seven if you want to increase that strength and throw. Um, it, I put it in a hurricane in my bedroom and it was really, really strong. So uh, you might want to be aware of that. I did mention in my charred pineapple review that this fragrance complements that one really, really well. And um, I give full credit to my friend Drew Yock for suggesting that candle combination. It's a beautiful, fruity um, combo. It, it, it's really, really nice. So um, I've been really happy pairing these two fragrances together. Another candle that this one I burned with yesterday that, oh my goodness, it was so good together. If you happen to have Homeworks' Valencia Orange, you're going to like that or their orange creamsicle scent. Burn these two together with it. It would smell really good. If you want more of like a lemon note to it, maybe pair, um, if you were able to get your hands on the lemon sugar marshmallow from Kringle, their Easter collection candle, that one would be a really nice pairing. So like I said, because of that citrus note in here, this one is quite versatile. Let me know in the comment box down below if you plan to purchase this one. Were you curious about some post-burn thoughts? Did you pick up uh, strawberry lemonade last year and think like, oh, I don't know, is this the same fragrance? Um, that fragrance to me last year, I did have it. And upon burn, I will echo the thoughts of what some of my other um, candle content creators have said. They, I know that they picked up the lemonade note in there was almost sour, like um, not sour, like as in like sour milk, but it was more like, um, what are those candies? Like Warheads or like Sour Patch Kids. That's kind of like the vibe that I got. And I think that they've made some tweaks and this one definitely is not sour to my nose. It's definitely sweet sugared lemonade in here. All right, uh, final details again, like I mentioned earlier, this candle uh, will be available at Kringle Candle this Friday. Friday, March 1st, beginning at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do have a discount code with Kringle Candle. It is KD15. It will save you 15% off of your purchase. That is an affiliate discount code that is available, that is eligible for commission. So if you are not comfortable using those, then please don't. Um, but otherwise, if you do, I want to say thank you very much for supporting my channel in doing that. All right, you guys, thumbs up if you found this video helpful. It helps me out to let me know that you like seeing videos like this. It also lets the old YouTube algorithm know that other people might be interested in seeing this review. Feel free to leave a comment down below as long as you remain respectful of myself and others within our community. I want to say thank you so very, very much for spending your time here with me today. All information about this candle as well as the other reviews that I did will be linked in the description box down below. And I hope you guys all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.